This is part two of a series of videos designed to help you calculate and understand minor scales. In this video, I'll be explaining harmonic minor scales, and it is important that you've watched part one where I detail how to calculate natural minors, an essential step towards calculating harmonic minors. At the bottom of the screen, I've left the instructions on how to calculate the natural minor scale. You must always follow these steps first in order to calculate a harmonic minor scale. Let's assume we wanted to calculate C harmonic minor, ascending and descending. Here's the C natural minor scale we calculated in part one. That's steps one and two completed. To turn this natural minor into a harmonic minor, we need to add a new step. At the bottom of the screen, I'll detail the instructions for harmonic minors. The next step, step three, is raise the seventh by a semitone, ascending and descending. A few things to note here. Firstly, if you're not sure what semitones are, have a look at my video about accidentals and semitones. This explains everything you need to know. Secondly, when I say raise, this means add a semitone. And finally, when I say seventh, I mean the seventh note of the scale. We count the notes from C, number one, until we reach the seventh note, this one. What note is it? It's B flat, not B. Don't forget to always keep an eye on that key signature. Step three tells us to raise it by a semitone. Therefore, we change the note to a B, one semitone higher than B flat. We haven't quite finished yet. Step three tells us to raise the seventh by a semitone in both the ascending and descending scale. We've only tackled the ascending scale so far. Now, which is the seventh note? This one or this one? The seventh note is always calculated by counting up from the starting note. So the seventh note is the B flat. You raise this by a semitone. It also becomes B natural. We've completed step three, and we now have C harmonic minor, ascending and descending. So, in a nutshell, to create a harmonic minor scale, we first create a natural minor scale, steps one and two. We then raise the seventh note, a semitone, in both the ascending and descending versions of the scale. Let's try B harmonic minor descending. Step one, calculate the key signature. Let's look at our circle of fifths. Here's the B. We start counting from the A. One, two steps on the sharp side of the clock takes us to B. Therefore, B minor has two sharps in its key signature. We look at the order of sharps. The first two letters are F and C. So these are the notes which will make up our key signature. So let's pop them onto our stave. Step one, complete. Step two, write in the notes. We start on B. And then, ensuring that there is a note in every space and on every line, we add in the notes down to the next B. Remember that this is a descending scale, hence why we're going down. Steps one and two complete. We've now created B natural minor. To convert this to B harmonic minor, we follow step three. Raise the seventh by a semitone, ascending and descending. Now, we've not been asked to create the ascending version, so we can ignore that part of the instruction, but we must raise the seventh in our descending scale. So, which of these notes is note number seven? It's this one. Remember that we always count up to determine the seventh note. So, we now raise it by a semitone. A becomes, well, is it B flat or A sharp? They are both a semitone higher than A. Now, you may remember from part one that I said there needed to be a note on every line and in every space. If we used B flat, there would be two notes on the same line, this line. Therefore, the answer has to be A sharp to ensure that there is a note in every line and on every space. Always be really careful with this. Make sure you don't end up with too many notes on each line or in each space. That's it. We've completed step three. We have B harmonic minor descending. Just one final example. B flat harmonic minor descending. Step one, calculate the key signature. Let's have a look at our circle of fifths. 
Here's the B flat in the top left of the clock. We count around starting from the A. One, two, three, four, five. B flat is five steps away from A on the flat side of the clock. Therefore, B flat minor has five flats in its key signature. We look at the order of flats. The first five letters are B, E, A, D, G. So these are the notes which will make up our key signature. Let's pop them onto our stave. Step one, complete. Step two, write in the notes. We start on B flat. Now there's no need to put in the flat symbol as this is covered in the key signature. And then ensuring that there is a note in every space and on every line, we add in the notes down to the next B flat. And remember that we're only going downwards as this is a descending scale. Step two complete, we've now created our B flat natural minor scale. To convert it to B flat harmonic minor, we follow step three, raise the seventh by a semitone. Count the notes up from the B flat to find the seventh note. Here it is, A flat. We need to raise this note by a semitone. We add in a natural symbol to make it A, A being one semitone higher than A flat. Step three complete, we now have our B flat harmonic minor descending scale. So remember, once you've calculated the natural minor scale, to change it to a harmonic minor scale is just a simple tweaking of the seventh note. You raise it by a semitone in both the ascending and descending scales. I do hope that this video has been useful to you. In part three, I'll be explaining how to calculate melodic minor scales.